Now you can see here that uh, we have generated the output here for the means of uh, a particular group uh, that we have selected for the particular field. So this is one such kind of output that we have generated. Again, in addition, this is one of the uh, one of the output types that we have generated. If you want, we can also generate it statistics output or we can generate a transforms output so fine let's take something slightly different even if it might be a bit challenging without warning then let us click on transform and uh, i'm connecting this here and let's open it and see what all do we have in here No, uh, let's just run this and see what will happen. It will show us some error. Yes, no fields have been uh, no fields have been specified. So that's all right. Uh, we were anticipating it. No worries. Now uh, let us click on edit. And uh, on the fields, I'm selecting a field. Which field do you want to select? Let's select uh, all India. Click apply, and I click OK. I click apply. I click run. Fine. So uh, th these are the different transforms that they have generated. Now, th this is what these are the selected transforms. Uh, that's a current distribution. That's the inverse distribution. That's log normal, log 10, exponential square root. So uh, these are the different um, output transforms that have been generated. And cell contains mean that is a standard deviation. So uh, yeah, the off field all is undefined expression. Fine. So if we go for oops wait where is it gone yes so uh if we try to open these individually then uh it will probably throw an error yeah but uh yeah we can copy these but uh this is another output that we have uh, generated that we are seeing for the given output from the output nodes that we have so uh, like this you can select and choose which kind of outputs do you want to have let us select a uh, table no, let us select matrix and see so let's run this and see what do we have here do we have anything on rows and columns and we will not selected anything yet so let's select rows we don't have any rows and we don't have any columns either cross tabulation is it possible well uh let's see no it doesn't appear so function okay these are the functions available so uh Fine, so we are sticking with the default settings and I'm clicking apply, click OK. And uh, of course, we need to connect this. So I'm selecting connect this with matrix. Now let's run this particular output and see what turns out. Okay, now either the row or the column field has not been specified. It's not a surprise, of course, because uh, we have not quite worked on that yet. So let's right click and click on edit. Now, uh, where is the output row or a column? Yes, no, that is here. So we'll select quarter here. And let us select quarter here also. And now see how it will turn out. Click apply, click OK. Right click here and click scroll down and click run. Now they are identical. So we cannot have identical rows and columns. Again, I right click on this particular node. I click edit. Now here I'll select none. Let us apply it and let us click OK. I run. I right click on matrix and scroll down to run and now see what oh, yeah they are not being specified so uh of course the data that we have here is not uh commensurate to the output type that also can happen so uh but overall if you see there are nodes which we will be selecting and uh the output nodes that we'll select with the uh, given data set and then you will be generating the relevant outputs let us see what happens if we take report here uh okay so uh well yeah this is what it looks like let us connect it with the given data set and see what will it show up right click it and we click run great now it is generating some kind of report i'm not sure what report is that it has generated how <laughs> okay the object has not been saved that's what it's showing but what report is it supposed to uh, generate now, there is no report that it has generated really yes no uh where is this report okay they say they have reported generated a report so it should be over here report of report 
one. Let's double click on this. Okay, there is nothing here, although the report has been generated. This is a report, but okay, we have not, we are not having any particular, uh, we are not having any particular detail that we have put in over here that we intend to generate as an output for a report. So that's why the report is blank. Suppose if you click on a report and I click edit. If we come here. Let's type in here. Um, cannot do that because it's a report that has to be generated from the system itself. So uh, never mind. This is uh, another such output node that we have brought on the canvas, of course, and uh, attempted to generate an output. So this is how the output nodes work. But then this is not the only thing that we intend to cover today. We also intend to cover the remaining nodes, that is export Python Spark IBM. So uh, let us quickly come down here on the exports, different types of export nodes that we have. Now in the export nodes, we have what we have database, we have flat file, statistics export, data collection, Excel, IBM Cognos, TMI export, SAS extension report, XML, and JSON report. And then we also have the Pythons uh, uh, the nodes, we have the Spark nodes, we have IBM SPS uh, statistic analytics nodes also. Well, uh, so uh, as we click on uh, export, what, what, what do we intend to export? Let us bring this file over here, SAS file. I'm, uh, oh, this is getting a bit too uh, congested. So let us do one thing. Let us open a new file. Okay, I'm saving all of this. That is for day four. index this is okay, saving this are there any outputs that have been generated yeah we are seeing this as well but i think this is auto saved yes it should have had been yeah it is saving we are saving this also day four let's save this this and yes, that's not the last one that we need to say. What is this? This is means of mobile backlog. So save it as means of mobile backlog. Um, right. So uh, let us open a new stream. Okay. I'm opening a new stream over here. So I keep on streams and uh, not here. Yeah. Okay. On the file, I'll, I'll come back on file. I click uh, create a new stream. Right, so new stream has been created. Right click here and uh, we will rename the stream, uh, the stream a little later. And, uh, fine, so uh, for this uh, stream that we created, what all will we need? For starters, you will need a source, right? So um, let us select Excel. And on Excel, uh, let us click Edit. We need to import a certain MS Excel file. So I'm clicking on import file. I'm going on set location where from we can. Um, okay, these are some of the features of like, you know, pistachios. It's uh, a dry fruit that we have. And, uh, we have its data type. Now see, these are the different fields that they have provided. And we can choose which of these we want and which we do not want. So uh, let us quickly go and uh, get rid of some of the values. We don't need this, this. These are the different uh, descriptors that they had generated. So I'm deselecting all of, I'm filtering out these from the import itself. Um, these are the filters I've applied. What are the different types? They are, most of these are continuous types only the annotations I click apply and I click OK so here we can see that we have uh, imported the pistachio feature data file now this is what this is an Excel format okay if I wish to export this file in the uh, say statistics file format let us 
bring this over here. And, uh, I'll connect this. Oops. Cannot connect from this to this. Why is that? Okay, let us check it again. Connect. Ah, now the reason for this not being able to connect is we already uh, imported another file. So uh, I mean. Uh, Excel is already a source node, so we are trying to connect one source node to another source node that cannot be allowed. So I'll delete the statistics file. Okay, and now I go to the export file. Hmm. That's where we are erring a bit. This is statistics export and this is statistics file. So I go on export. I uh, drag and drop the statistics export over here. And now let us try and connect it. Yeah, now we can connect. Now it is accepting the connectivity. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run this. Let's run it from here. OK. Yes, that's fine. OK, now uh, these are uninstantiated types. This is fine. This is uh, we have not uh, done any uh, changes over here for this data type out here. Yeah, so these types uh, we have to select the Select all of these as the uh, default settings. And I click apply and I click OK. Now let us try and run this. Yes. Again, there will be an error. Yes. Is unknown or has uninstantiated type. Fine. So let us come back here again. I click on edit types that we have here. Okay. Right. So these are the values that we have here. Uh, and the types are now probably possibly well defined. So they should not create any issues. Right. Fine, let's apply it. I'll click OK. And now we'll run this again. Right click and click on run from here. Yes, now it's running. You can see it's in green color. And uh, some output might be generated. No, it's not. But never mind. Now we right click this and we click run. Okay. So what we are doing here is I'll now right click here and click on view data. Yes, now. Uh, that is a data view service initialization as we uh, saw it yesterday as well. And uh, let it open up data view service loading. And it is going to open the data that has been exported, uh, that we have, uh, that we seek to export as a statistics file. Now, this is the chart type that it has opened up. So I'm going on the spreadsheet straight away. And now, this spreadsheet that we have here. This is the this is the data that we have. Okay. And uh, if I go on the dashboard, you also see the charts. So the charts here, data audit. If I come here, it is giving me entire audit of like you know what is the quality. Quality is good, yes, or of it is hundred percent complete. All of these are valid records, and there are no extremes. There are some extremes, but that is fine. These are the outliers uh, and the null value. Statistics, yes, they have generated a healthy count of statistics for almost for yeah, all the uh, variables, Pearson's correlations also they have provided here. So we have uh, the correlation matrix here, as so we can see here, for all the parameters that we have. And uh, preferences, yeah, we are not juggling with any of the preferences. So I'll close this window. And uh, so this is the export that we have now. Let us come here. Let us save this. So uh, the statue. Yeah, the uh, stream file name. We are saving it as simply the statue. Save it. 